what's going on guys it's your boy Sesso here bring guys yet another video here today bring guys a cool Photoshop design tutorial on how to create your own cool fun uh, almost upgrade to my weaving band tutorial so I don't know what my name is called yet but as you can see this thing looks really pretty and looking really dope and then of course you have the cool like I guess it's like a trend now that are, we're bringing back the the fun little indention pattern stuff so I, of course I had to get my own rendition on it so here it is and here we gotta go we're gonna show you guys how to do that cool stuff um, the, uh, which one? The metal texture that I have is this one right here. Let's see if I can open it. For you guys, this one right here, I put it in the description down below. I just found it off of Google. As you see, I typed in metal texture. And I got this one, so it looks pretty good. So I'll be sure to give that over to you guys if you guys want to use the same one. That is what the pattern is that's inside of here. And it looks, it looks really cool. So, of course, guys, do not forget 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below. Please, please leave a like. Of course, it helps me very, very much. And I'm growing super fast. And again, it's really awesome. So please go ahead and leave a like. It'll mean a lot to me, of course. And I do have an idea for the end of my video to uh, end of my video kind of stuff. So leave it like I might come out with like a video, like explain, explain what I want to do, or even another tutorial or something like that. However, I want to do something and I think it's gonna work out until like the new top five comes back or top three excuse me comes back in cuz uh, you know I, as you guys know I put top three on hold for, for school time and I like to do it on the summertime kind of thing so let's go ahead and get this thing going as you can see this is a very cool style like I said before and of course I do have this uh, copied over kind of mimicking uh, symmetrical kind of thing going on here but it looks really cool even though without having both of them here like this right here I would not be upset of course, of course you have my little my little uh, like my triangle here of light that I use for the actual background of that simple little thing. However, just imagine that wasn't there. But like, look how sweet this looks overall. If I moved over, of course, the text to, like more over here, like centered a little bit better. It looks pretty badass. And this whole entire part right here just looks like like machinery. Just it looks it has this really beautiful look to it. So of course, I want to show you guys how to do it. So. We're just going to turn this off. We're going to turn the color overlay on for a little bit just so I can actually show you guys the shapes a little bit better. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing going. As you can see, this is what it looks like if I don't have a white background, which is really messy. But uh, yeah, um, let's go ahead and get this thing going. So the first thing you want to do, of course, let's just put this back on so you guys can see the example, is you want to make this shape right here, right? I have a shape that's going on right here that goes all the way outside just like so. So this shape right here we're going to make right now is the first shape we're going to make and of course we're going to make the actual uh, pattern shape in there afterwards and then last but not least this next shape here and then this right here is just pretty much basic stuff. So if you guys see it and you look you see it's, it looks really hard or something like that for you guys it's definitely not hard whatsoever. So the first shape I'm just going to pencil it out right here because I want to show you guys what I'm talking about if you couldn't follow my uh, cursor or whatever. This is the shape that I want. So basically this shape right here this nice little angle is where I kind of want the angle to start off my shape, right? Of course, on the right-hand side. Um, and then on the inside, I will have the other nice little pattern shape in there to actually, you know, kind of fill it a little better. So I'm going to right-click. Which which color do I use? I think I had it here, a swatch. I think it has to be this one. So we're going to fill this in, this nice little pen tool shape in with this color right here. Press OK. And OK, so it was the same. Oops, I put it on the... I didn't mean to do that. Of course, make a new layer. I thought I did. What the heck? Uh, we're gonna have to put that nice little color on there now. So this is the first shape we're gonna be needed, right? So this this little simple shape right here, this nice little curvature going on here. It's very very easy with the pen tool. You just basically click on the top, click on the bottom, drag, of course. And if you want to kind of like fixate it, do a little better than just kind of like moving it like this. If you were to click and drag and kind of like move it like this, it's whatever. If you find this fine for you, but for me, I like to take the extended uh, points over here, these little anchor points here, hold control and like kind of it kind of helps me control it a bit better. And uh, I just kind of have like a nice little shape just going like that, and then we're good to go. Now, the second thing you want to go ahead and do, of course, is make yet again another new layer, and this will be the layer that actually holds the uh, the pattern right here. So pretty much, you want to go ahead and oops, you want to go ahead and just click somewhere up the top, and we're gonna click somewhere like right here. Click and drag, and we'll just make a nice little kind of just transition, like so. Hmm, that doesn't look bad. I'm going to have a very little kind of triangle thing. I'm going to move this over just a little bit then. Ah, that works. So basically kind of mimicking the same shape as before. However, you're going to want to make sure you kind of get more, uh, you know, of course, more left over to the, excuse me, more tilted, moved over to the left. There we go. Um, so yeah, this color we're going to choose. We're just going to make this color a little bit darker than this one for now. However, I do believe it could be the same color. However, just a little bit darker wouldn't hurt either. So as you can see, it's a little bit, it's just a little bit more darker. I'm going to go ahead and just really quickly uh, get this. Let's go ahead and get this nice little texture in here. 
So like I said, this is the texture that I am using. I am in a Twitter header dimension, which is 3000 by 3000. And my resolution is 200. So as you can see right here, um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just drag this right there. That way, this texture here is basically laying over this new shape that we just made. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is pretty much simply right click, uh, create clip mask. And with this clip mask, of course, it's just going to allow me to only place this texture within the sheet that we just made right here, and it will not be seen anywhere else. So it doesn't matter. You don't have to cut or anything like that. And it's pretty cool. So now what you can do is either put this on overlay or do something with, let's put it on overlay for now. And let's just say that we kind of want to have it on maybe 55 opacity or maybe even 50 because that seems like a lot. Yeah, we want the texture about 55 opacity. And basically the cool thing we're gonna do here is uh, create a nice little kind of indention or make it look like it's indented and that's gonna be using like simple inner shadow. So basically what I'm gonna go ahead and do here, I'm gonna make a duplicate of this uh, layer seven, layer 27, excuse me, put this over here. And I just press control J of course to make a duplicate of it or you can just hold alt and then drag it right over. That's kind of a quicker way in this case. And what you wanna do is you wanna go to your fill Go all the way down to zero. This is going to actually get rid of what's ever shown on the layer, but however, your opacity is still going to be there for your layer style. So that's what we're going to do. Double click on this layer here. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, I guess a, what would you call it? A templated kind of layer or something like that. And we're going to go to inner shadow here and we're going to basically change this to, let's say, what angle should we have it at? Like negative 50. Let's see what we put our size up and stuff. Okay. Negative 50 isn't terrible. You can take off global light though. And I think that looks pretty good. Yep. It's kind of like the whole little indention feel that I have going on here. I like it. Now what you could do is you can rasterize this layer. What's going to happen is it's just going to have this layer on itself right over this. The reason why I want to rasterize it is because if one of you do not and you erase, you're going to get like this really weird distortion because basically it's going to erase the actual shape and that's what's going to then be get uh that's what's then going to apply the inner shadow so what i like to do is right click rasterize the layer style that way it's just now this layer and that's it you know your fill is now back to 100 percent and you're all good to erase if you want to and i like to just erase where maybe it's just like kind of like you know want to have some kind of like nice little pattern it still looks indented in some areas which is looking it's looking cool and I, it's just like my little thing that i want to do if you don't want to do it you don't have to uh, if you want to do it sparingly, you could. However, I do want to do it just a little bit in a couple spots, just like so, right? Kind of like mess with it a little bit. So now what you have is basically the start of what we need. So now what we can do now is go ahead and why not put our other layer in, which is going to be the color. I believe I have this color stroke or in here as well. Okay. And let's just put that like right here hmm how do I want this like is that good enough let's see I'm going to I think that will look good so if I right click now on this new layer go ahead and drop down the color and fill it in with this nice blue here press ok press ok again this will work so basically what I did a lot was when I was doing my colors and stuff or even like simple colors like this in here, which you can do, it will look really good. It'll kind of give that nice little creative kind of professional look to it as well. Make it more, just a little more detail always looks a little bit better. So what I like to do is make a new layer above the, I'm going to use this, this is my blue layer, right? I'm just going to make this blue so you guys know. Um, we're going to right click and then clip mask this new layer on top of this blue layer that we, ju that we just made. So with this clip mask layer, we're going to take our pen tool really quickly. We're gonna find the middle. Why is my uh, whatchamacallit sounds on? That's kind of annoying. System sounds. I never have that on ever. I don't know if you guys are the same way, but uh, here. We're gonna click right in the middle, somewhere in the middle, right, of our shape. And I'm just gonna click right in the middle, somewhere over here as well. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure I alt click or just something like that. Go all the way around. You don't have to alt click. I just like to alt click this. If you don't know, the alt click will stop the curve from happening. As you can see, it won't curve. So anyway, I'm just gonna go all the way around. I'm gonna go all the way around this little blue, this little blue shape here. I went, of course, excessively around. However, you just wanna make sure you go around it. And then you wanna right click, uh, fill the path, fill this in with white, press OK, right click delete the path that way it gets rid of the path that we just made and now you're going to have a white layer that's within this blue layer so what's going to happen here is when you change this new uh clip mask layer that we just made to a overlay layer mode we're going to go ahead and lower the pass down however and then depending on your opacity i would say 12 is a pretty good one depending on what color you choose take your eraser afterwards a nice little soft brush eraser zero hardness 
and kind of erase a little bit so you kind of have this nice bevel that's going on here however it's not all the way through it just looks kind of nice and it looks really really dope if you were to apply it to other things like let's just say for this background and for instance this first actual shape that we made uh let's go ahead and make a new layer clip mask it and we just have a nice little you know random shape right here let's see if this is gonna work for us because we do have nope we're good fill this in with white delete it we'll move it over just a little bit i feel like it should be in the middle a little more Actually, that was a nice little offside of shape. Uh, we'll put on overlay now. Uh, remove some overlay. Remove some overlay. Load the opacity. And we're going to go ahead and kind of just, you know, mess around with it a little bit. So let me put this up just a little bit more. And doing this little stuff will kind of, it'll just make it look a little bit better. Like aesthetically better. And in my case, it does look better when you actually do apply some stuff like that. And then right now we're looking good. We're looking like we should. And uh, basically the last parts are uh, located right here. This little shape right here. And this little shape right here so basically of course to simply do it is if you guys want to also you can also group these together control G and we're just gonna call this like the first group of shapes and then we're gonna make a new layer here and then we're gonna take this nice little simple triangle here and throw that in there now this color we're gonna choose will possibly be somewhere around like the darkness of the inside of this pattern here press ok Press OK again, right click, delete the path. Make sure this is below that first group of shapes. That way you can't see it like so. And mm, I guess last but not least is the, another, the last color shape, right? So basically this right here will be the nice little color shape. And we chose this color for the blue. Press OK, press OK again. And for this right here, that's a lot of blue. Why is that? Oh, because I have to put it below it. All right, so make sure the layers are always below. And now we have this nice, simple, very simple like shape going on here, right? It's kind of, you can also build in this even more. Like I said, this kind of goes with the weaving pattern tutorial that I had before. However, it's just a little more, I feel like a little more work that is kind of used um, because it just looks better. It just overall looks better if I compare this to the other one. It just looks like you tried more. You have a, little, a nice little more aesthetic detail and it just looks overall cleaner in my opinion. So now of course I'm gonna add that nice little thing I said before, right? So I'll click mask over this blue, middle, go around, and make sure I go all the way around, fill this in with white, and I want to make sure you guys know why I'm going all the way around is because, of course, you need to actually fill the path to fill it in, of course. So I'm going all the way around the on the right-hand side because that means I'm going to fill only this side of the triangle. If I went, of course, if I did this and went all the way around this side, then only this side would be white, right? It doesn't really matter which side I choose. It's just, I'm just showing you guys why I want to choose to go all the way around. That way I can actually fill this path with white. And as you can see, this will be white now. Press the lead path. Go over here to overlay. Lower the opacity down to, I believe I had 12 in the other one, so I'm going to mimic that same thing. Take my eraser, and maybe just erase a little differently, like something like that. Right, and that looked pretty badass. So, right now, we're pretty much done. However, I want to do a couple lighting effects for you guys. That way you guys know what I kind of did as well. Uh, this black is maybe a little too dark here. I can press Control u Let me take my lightness and just kind of like move it up a little bit. Uh... There we go, looks good. And so now for the pretty much the final part is all you gotta do is go to your nice little new layer here, put uh, our brush in, our soft brush, in our nice blue that we used the entire time. So this nice little blue, I didn't give you the guys the actual hex code, it's 007, oh, 007, C -O -C -C -A -C. there we go. That is the blue that I used for this actual tutorial. So if you guys wanna use the same one, go right ahead. Now what I'm gonna do really quickly first is basically click simply a couple times uh, around these the blue shapes that we just did and we're gonna take the blend mode and change it to linear dodge add right and we're gonna lower opacity down a bit and this is gonna be a little bit more added color if I want to I'm gonna go make sure actually before I want to I kind of want to definitely erase where it kind of bleeds into the background a bit more I just really want it around the blue and the blue only just to give it a little more kind of like color to it the blue kind of like a little more how do you say uh, vibrance or brightness to it and pretty much now I'm going to do is I'm going to make another new layer. However, this time I'm going to actually change this to linear dot add right away. And we're going to take a bigger soft brush and just kind of click around this banner design very loosely. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, that does look good. So pretty much I just clicked around the left hand side for now because I, I did not duplicate it over yet. Um, and it looks really good. It looks kind of how I want it. 
and pretty much now I'm going to do is I'm going to add a simple uh, brightness and contrast to it. So the brightness, of course, is going to be negative. Contrast is going to be positive. And as you can see, you get that really, really nice color going on here. And the, the little brush hits that you did right here, which one was it? Not these, but these right here, do make the blue stand out a little bit more, as you can see, right? It just looks a little bit better, in my opinion, if you just do it, do it only on the blue first to get that nice little brightness to it. And then you can come in later on and, you know, of course, put it around as well. So basically, now all I have to do is just kind of just group all this together and just call this left, right? That's the entire left side of this entire cool little shape here. And then what I can do is, of course, press Control J to duplicate it over. And then all I got to do is hold, uh, excuse me, press Control T, right click, free transform to go ahead and just flip horizontal and also flip vertical. But if you want to keep it horizontal, what would that look like? Let's see. Uh, let's say like right there, almost there. Boom. Good enough. It look like this. That wouldn't look terrible. What if I just kind of like, I'm just, now I'm kind of going off course. However, curious to what would happen if I kind of fill this entire thing. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just try. I need this one to be flipped like that. I mean, not bad. I mean, you can kind of do something cool with that. I don't know. That was completely, that was just completely random. However, it does look pretty cool and it could work. So if you guys want to do something a little different, um, there's that. I'm going to make this sure this is white again. And we're going to make sure this is a little more white than that. Let's just make this like this kind of white. There we go. And of course, on the inside, you can put whatever the heck you guys want. I'm going to go ahead and put banner design. I'm going to put this font. Which one? Montre? I think I had this and then Kenyan coffee. I actually don't know what I had for my fonts design. If we had Kenyan coffee, though. Okay, and then pretty much, I don't know what I want the, what's your favorite font, guys? I know I made my font pack, but what's your favorite font? I'm kind of curious. Uh, that would look kind of silly for this style. Let's just go with, uh, I don't know. Dude, this is, okay, built. We'll go up built. There we go. And we'll make this a little bigger, a little bigger. There we go. I'll make the top one. We'll keep that blue and make the bottom one banner design the black. Right? Just a little bit and then of course we're gonna go ahead and rotate it a little bit and then give it a nice little skew just like so and basically there you guys go i kind of see like a lot more when i was doing it i had a, like a bigger like plan i have a bigger plan because i do have the this kind of like bland space of white if i wanted to where do i have like a picture of something let's see maybe i have a picture um of course I have a picture, but where is the picture? Uh, like a nice landscape picture of some sort, right? Like, oh my gosh, like this right here. I don't know, I have an Italian landscape. All right, let's say we have this picture here, for example, and like the background, you can kind of almost get that like, how do you say, oops, I didn't mean to, how did I place that below? So you, if you want to put a picture behind it, you guys could, just make sure you put it below everything. And if I just want to put on luminosity maybe, and then lower the opacity down. You can, you can have a picture in the background. That would look pretty cool. But you kind of like the thought that I had was if I, of course, had the like side just kind of like almost duplicated a lot more over. Like you guys saw, it wouldn't look bad. But of course, you'd have to. I would suggest if you do this shape and then right like uh, maybe like uh, how would you say kind of like mimic this shape here. However, let's just say we didn't have any of this, right? If I were to suggest that you guys want to fill the entire banner design in, I would say lower the opacity on this, right? And then just go over again, but like start from like here, you know what I mean? And then possibly the duplication over will actually fill your entire banner design. I don't know, maybe it's something to try. It's something of course I'm going to try because that's kind of like a new idea. It just popped up in my head. However, and it does work. It looks really, really dope. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Of course, when like on the video, it was a secret down below, which will most likely be the PSD of this right here. And so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, thank you guys so much. If you guys are not subscribed to me, please sure to just click the freaking subscribe button. Also, click I never said this, but click the little bell next to the subscribe button. If you guys don't know already, that's notification. That's why you probably see people in my uh, comments say, like, notification squad, because that means, of course, as soon as I upload, they get automatically just, like, like you know, kind of like, what did you call it? Like, they get notified, and then it's just like they watch it, and they're cool and stuff like that. So, right, of course. And, uh, of course, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at SissoHQ. Do not forget to check out my Selfie, selfie.com slash SissoHQ for any pre-mades and packs of those three bucks. And as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Hope you guys stay freaking positive, stay productive, 
and just like keep smiling bros like i really really do suggest that you guys do all those things and you guys will have a really really awesome life of course and uh yeah i hope i uh help you guys out a little bit talk to you guys later since so hq out peace